should be step by step, taking a, a little step each time. You always race against the best. That can make you shine much more and in the higher category like Formula 2. It's been a tough season, competitive season, to be first year in Formula 2. For the first time, having Chinese flag on the podium, is really proud. Obviously, all the hard work on the on the back is being pays off. And the special scoring five podium in the whole season, it sounds like a great achievement. And I'm really proud for myself, also for the team working behind you, because obviously, you know, uh, it's a race team. You have a big team behind you, so you have to be everything perfect to be having great result to be finished on top three. Starting to announce the winner of the Antoine Hubert Award for Rookie of the Year. It goes to Guan Yu Zhou. I'm really happy to be the top rookie last season and uh, looking for all the challenge ahead this season. Does that owner give you a lot of pressure because right now you are in the limelight because of that uh, honor or that title and people would give you some, um, you know, extra pressure perhaps so this and that. Are you ready to take this kind of pressure before you move forward? Yeah, definitely there will be more pressure. I mean, when you win the rookie title in the, your rookie years. Everybody looks at you, everybody looks up to you. Yeah, next season that means you have to be finish top three or mm -hmm. running up in the, in the overall driver's championship. So mm -hmm. that's going to be tough, but all the pressure can give me a big boost for, for the coming season. Mm -hmm. I'm already pushing harder and the training much more harder than, than ever and uh, trying to improve all the little things I have to improve to be Another step up is the driver skills. Mm -hmm. So yeah, looking forward to all the all the season ahead. Uh, Guan Yu, let me ask you this. Let me, be, let me be very blunt. How far are you from F1, which is your ultimate objective and dream? And what is the fundamental difference between F1 and F2? I'm now very, very close to, to reaching Formula 1. I'm now racing Formula 2, the final step in the, in the racing ladder. So it's going to be the, a tough one, I would say, and the, the young rising talent to be good in Formula 2, they definitely will be also a good driver for Formula 1. So that's going to be the biggest important part is to be shining in, the, in this series in Formula 2. And uh, obviously Formula 2 car is going to be uh, quite a bit different to Formula 1. Not the speed wise, we have no power steering wheel. Also the biggest difference is that Formula 1 you have 20 people working for one driver right. and uh, in Formula 2 we, had, uh, we have a limitation of Few, dry, few mechanics, engineers to be working for you. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a, of the biggest challenge as well. Guan Yu Zhou has taken pole position, the first Chinese driver to do so. His first pole in Formula 2, our first rookie of the year. You are pole position, mate. Good job. Yes, boy! After the retirement of Yao Ming, Lina, and Liu Shang, uh, we do need an iconic figure right there to stand out. Uh, are you ready to take this baton? Because right now, somehow we're short of this kind of person, and especially in Formula One, which still, for China, leaves a lot to be desired. What do you make of it? I mean, to be the icon of something is definitely something I'm never thinking of. But firstly, I have that Formula One dream to be a Formula One driver. And if I reach that, that means I'll also be an icon for the motorsports history for China. So. Oh, for sure, because we desperately need this kind of icon, especially in Formula One in that field. Yeah, definitely, that means a lot. I mean, these past years, racing aboard in the, in the whole world, in the circuit, to having the Chinese flag shine uh, in, the, in the Formula Two, Formula Three, all that is, I'm really proud. I'm special listening to the Chinese Anderson. It's, it's something really amazing. And it's something you can pay off a lot. I mean, all your hard work pays off in the when you're on the podium, showing all your emotions. Yeah. So I know that to be in F1 is your dream, but um, uh, realistically, what's next right now for you? I think the next is focus on my this season, the Formula 2 championship. So if I can finish top four. Obviously the target is top three, but top four that could be give me the super license points and I have to see all the chances in Formula 1 grid. So that's the biggest target now and uh, you have down moments, hard time, but you always never give up and you just always try to go through it. The moment you go through it, pass through, it makes you a stronger man, stronger driver. <laughs>